time for another online webmarket.net Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of that ugly washed out blown out white sky from your images. We took this nice photo of this, this beautiful house but you know what the lighting was all wrong. It was all the wrong time of day. The, if the sun was to my back I would see a blue sky here but or actually this might have even been on an overcast day. Sometimes yeah this actually was. Sometimes on overcast days it's nice because you get less harsh shadows the shadows are very soft you don't get that harshness to the light so what you have to do your only real option is to flub it in Photoshop afterwards so we're gonna take the sky we need to select the area of the sky so the easiest way that I've, I've used over the years I go to filter actually I'm sorry I go to select color range and we're going to take our color range we're gonna take the eyedropper and click on the sky now you're just going to play with this uh, this little slider bar just as far as you can get it to go without too many things popping forward in the foreground of the, the house area. I just want to select the sky. You go too far, you're not going to get enough of the edges. But once you start to see things peek out of the trees a little bit, those little holes, because you see these little holes over here, that's right where you want to leave it. We're going to manually remove what it selects in this area afterward. So once you get it to your liking, click OK. And now our selection has been made. So what we need to do now is remove areas that we don't need to be selected. So you can use any of the selection tools at all. Um, I'm going to use the poly polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to hold my Alt key and you get that, see that minus that pops up? You hold the Alt key and you just start clicking away. I'm going to deselect this entire area. So now that whole area is gone. I do notice though that the chimney is a little bit selected still and parts of the house right here. So I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm just going to make a quick selection to remove the areas that I don't want selected. So I'm just going to go right up the edge. This is a nice straight edge, easy enough selection to make. Just remember to hold your Alt key down. in right there and it comes down and you double click at the end and it makes it removes the selection even this part right here can be removed that's just the highlight so now we've got our selection made we're going to now take whoops we're going to take the selection that we have made and we're going to transform that into a mask layer so make a new layer and click mask so now the only thing that is going to show on this layer is the selection that we've made. We can always modify that later if we have to. Now I'm going to take some clouds. I've uh, had this image from years ago. I'm going to copy this layer and we're going to paste that right into this layer here, the mask layer. It pastes it onto a new layer. I'm just going to drag the mask up and I can delete this layer. So now we've got our sky, but it just looks a little fake, doesn't it? Now what we need to do is we need to take the opacity and we're going to lower the opacity down to a more realistic level. Even there it's a little dark. I'm going to I'm going to say leave it around like probably 25% and play around with the um just the, the section of the of the image that you that you're showing because sometimes certain clouds, certain parts of the clouds will just work better with an image than other parts. It's all abstract, it's all random. So just just try to find the most believable spot. It, you, you're going for realism here. You're not going for El Chizo, you know. Oh look, it's a sky, that's a real photo. No, it's not. So we're gonna take this down to about 20, 25%. If you wanna go even further, you can take your eraser tool, you can set the flow down really low at 10%, and you can make the brush humongous and you could even either erase away the image or you could just work on the mask either way and you can even gradiate the sky a little bit so there you have it that's a simple method on how to replace a blown out washed out sky with a nice blue sky hope you've enjoyed this and for more check out onlinewebmarket.net thanks